Knoxville, Tennessee. Home to 170,000 people, it's the third largest city in the state after Memphis and Nashville. Tennessee is known in the United States as the volunteer state due to the huge number of volunteers the state provided for American military conflicts during the 19th century. The Volunteers is also the nickname given to the sports teams of the University of Tennessee, which is based here in Knoxville. Of all UT sports teams, the most successful is their all-conquering women's basketball team, known as the Lady Volunteers or Lady Vols. It was February 2007 when we headed to Knoxville to catch up with the team and their legendary coach, Pat Summit. When we visited, Summit had been the coach of the team for 33 years. In that time, she'd guided Tennessee to six national titles and her 941 victories with them was an NCAA record. I love what I do, so that's my motivation. Uh, my motivation is working with young people and going back to trying to help them be successful. I mean, I, I don't have to coach another day of my life. I don't have to win another game. I don't have anything that I feel like, hey, I've got to prove this. I've got to stay in the game and prove this. I love working with these young women and helping them strive to be the best they can be. Sadly, in August 2011, Summit announced that she'd been diagnosed with early onset dementia and subsequently stepped down as Tennessee's coach. But back in 2007, she was at the height of her powers and was striving to lead the Lady Vols to their seventh national title. I think this team has, has the talent. I think they have the skills. I think they certainly have played the schedule to prepare them uh, to be on the big stage come April and compete for a national championship. You know, the margin for error now in women's basketball is very fine. On a given night, obviously, there's teams uh, particularly when you're in postseason, that that can beat you if, if you're not on top of your game. The key to a Tennessee championship triumph lay with the Lady Vols star player Candice Parker. Summit's Tennessee teams had produced 12 Olympians, 19 All-Americans, and 38 professional players. Yet in this 20-year-old, the coach believed that she had on her hands the greatest talent of all. First of all, she's multi-dimensional offensively. She has a post-up game, she has a face-up game, she can play off the dribble, she can dunk the basketball, she can block shots, defend uh, with um, the likes of a guard. So that, that allows her to play a lot of positions and a lot of roles for us. And how good can Candace Parker be? She can be the best to ever play the game. In 2006, her freshman season, six foot four inch Parker became the first female to dunk in an NCAA tournament game. And in that match, she did it not once, but twice, a feat that the pros in the WNBA had never managed. Such was the magnitude of the event in the American sports world that a national television network cut into their primetime broadcast of an NBA game to show Candace's dunks. She went on to dunk on several other occasions that season. I've been doing it since I was 15, so, you know, it's kind of just normal. Ever since I started doing it, it's received a lot of press, but um, doing it for the first time, I think, you know, at home in front of the Tennessee crowd was, was probably the most special because, you know, it was able, you know, f for them to see a little bit of excitement and, and, you know, to give appreciation to the fans. Hailing from the suburbs of Chicago, Candace began playing competitive basketball at the age of six. In her teens, she became the first person ever to win the prestigious Naismith High School Player of the Year Award Fendi, twice. Look! Look, Fendi! Shouldn't listen. Come here. Come here. I feel like basketball has been in my blood. Um, my dad played basketball at the University of Iowa, 72 through 76. My brother played, my oldest brother played at Bradley University. 
and then he went on to play in the NBA and then he went overseas and now he's back in the NBA playing for the Toronto Raptors. So I feel like, you know, I've grown up around basketball. Ever since I was born, I've had a basketball in my crib. With such an extraordinary talent, there was an intense recruiting battle amongst numerous U.S. colleges to sign Candace. Her announcement that she would be joining Tennessee was broadcast live on national television. University of Tennessee is, is just a great historical program. Pat Summit has brought it, you know, to where it is right now. And just the fan support, obviously, um, the tradition, that's what made me come here. The Lady Vols' support remains staggering. In the NBA, the best supported team is the Chicago Bulls, who attract over 22,000 fans per game. For Tennessee's last game of the 2007 regular season at home to Vanderbilt, a crowd of 24,000 were in attendance. They were hoping to see the Lady Vols end their Southeastern Conference season with a perfect 14-0 record. Go hard, go to the paint, go inside. And what are they do In the right inner now? sanctum of the Lady Vols no, locker room, the mood was relaxed. A summit who earned in excess of a million dollars a year gave her final instructions and words of inspiration. Yeah, you got a chance to do something you haven't done in a while. What's that? Go undefeated in this conference. Undefeated in this conference. And you do that, you make a big statement. And you obviously lock up your number one seat, which is a goal of ours, has been. We're 40 minutes away, all right? Hopefully not 45. Come on, go. <laughs> With teams like Tennessee, Vanderbilt, LSU, and Georgia, the SEC was regarded as the toughest conference in the nation and made the Lady Vols' 100% record that season all the more impressive. I think when people think of Tennessee, they know that they're going to be a tough team a tough defensive-minded team and a rebounding team, and they're a team that's going to attack you. I mean, we're, we're not a team that's going to play passive basketball. We're going to be aggressive, and we're going to be in the attack mode at both ends. Against Vanderbilt, the Lady Vols dominated from the outset. Alexis Hornbuckle and Shannon Bobbitt played important supporting roles. But like many Tennessee matches that season, the game turned into the Candice Parker show. Tennessee went on to defeat Vanderbilt by 73 points to 53 and sweep the SEC for the eighth time in the program's history. Parker weighed in with 21 points and 14 rebounds, her 17th double-double of the season. Here in Tennessee, they expect a national championship every year, and if you don't win it, then it's kind of like a failure. So I feel like you know, we have the right parts to do it, and we just need to put it all together and, and just accomplish that goal. With Candice at the top of her game, Tennessee went on to win the 2007 NCAA championship. A year later, Parker made her WNBA debut for the Los Angeles Sparks, but not before she'd ended her collegiate career in style helping the Lady Vols capture an eighth national title.